Hello everyone and welcome to my ninth lecture. And as promised, I'll be letting you know the auto sum function, the shortcut ways of sum, average, minimum, maximum, count. So this is going to be pretty interesting. The, the, this, is, this is the shorter way of applying a formula. This is simply the magic of Excel. Let's dive into this. I'll just share my screen right now. Yeah, I've done. So in the previous lecture, you have learned this, the basic Excel function, the uh, sum before uh, column B10, the range, the average formula, the count formula, and uh, the maximum, the minimum, okay? And now we'll be learning about the auto sum, okay? Now, auto sum, let's, let's go over here. Where is the auto sum? Where is the auto sum? Let's go to the formula section, and here it is, okay? Now, what I need to do is, if you click on, if you click on this arrow, right, the drop down, you see sum, average, count numbers, maximum, minimum. So you can do all of this, right? Let's start with sum. I'll go to auto sum. I'll click on sum. See what happens. Sum B2 column B8. But do remember in double quotes for the auto sum, you need to check if the range is correct. You need to check if the range is correct. I'll let you know why I'm saying this. Now, B2 to B8, great. The range is correct. Perfect. Done. Let's go for the average. Auto sum, average. What did I say? Do check the range is correct. Now, for average, the auto sum is also including B9 which should not have been done, which is incorrect. So I'll do this, B8, to do, this is done. Again, click on auto sum, go to count numbers, nothing comes. How is this possible? Why did I, why did I press is equals to? Go to count numbers, again, this is selected a wrong range. You can do it via mouse, Select till B8. This is done as well. I'll do the maximum. Oops, done. So simple. Again, the range is incorrect. I'll go and do the range correct. I'll again use it over here. I'll go to minimum. That's so awesome. And this is done. Isn't this easy and interesting? Now, I'll just do control R. Each and every formula is done. Everything is correct. You can go and check sum E2 to E8, maximum E2 to E8, the values are correct. Isn't this very easy? I'll tell you the easiest way, easier than this. But let's, let's do this as well. No is equals to, no need of any is equals to, go to auto sum, sum B2 to E2. That's awesome. Again, yeah. I needed the sum, right? B3 to E3, that's very, very, I guess, right? Yeah, this is correct. Again, auto sum. Oops, oops, I'm sorry. Formula, auto sum, sum. Now, the range is incorrect. Again, I'll select the correct range. So, the only demerit for the auto sum by doing this way is, at times, the range is selected in a wrong way. So, you need to go and correct. Okay, I'll again do this. Again, the range, range selected is incorrect. I'll correct it. So this is the way we use auto sum, right? Again, these, these green triangles, I told you in the previous lecture, just ignore this. This is done. Now, shall I let you know the more easier one? Let's do this. I'll just delete this. Okay, what I'll do? I'll select this. I'll press the control button from my Excel, uh, from my keyboard. Oh, let's let's not learn this for now. Let's learn the easier one first. I'll select all of them. Press and hold Alt key, and then is equals to. And this is done. This this is the shortcut for finding the sum, right? Again, if I need to do this over here, Alt is equals to. That's awesome. This two is done. <laughs> Sorry, right? Isn't this easy? Yeah, this is. So just play around the data, do alt is equals to, 
you will see you are finding the sum you are finding the total this is super easy so this is this is the magic of um, microsoft excel and in the next and in the coming lectures we'll be learning more about excel functions the intermediate excel functions the lookup functions uh, this is this is my favorite the lookup function is my favorite i ask in lot of interviews you are going to enjoy the next sections stay tuned be educated and change the world thank you so much have a great day